In a lonely, dark forest sits an ancient manor, pulsing with dark and light mana, deep from within. The forest is ancient, housing the King of Bears and Planeswalker hosts and Planeswalkers themselves of the smallest kind. In this dark atmosphere, we find our last battle of Modern Horizons 3. Hello there, I'm Carlos, and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. We are lucky to be sponsored by the awesome Card Conduit, where you can sell your extra cards easily online at cardconduit.com slash kingdoms TV. You get a great price and 5% off of your fees if you use our code. This episode is also sponsored by Pointy Ear on Etsy. You can purchase and maybe even win one of the awesome live counters that we use in this video. Check out the end of the video for more information. Let's roll. Let's roll. All right. Ooh. Oh, the very you. worst option, actually. <laughs> and yours is second yeah. to worst. Wait, why is it the second to worst? No, that's, that's six. Oh, no. This is the wrong one. Yeah, it's never seven. mind. Sorry. You got seven. Seven. Got seven. Average. Seven. Se no, no it's eight. 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 And I'm at a four, so I'm out of this game. So you two oh, are wrong. Oh, yeah. Never mind. I thought I had a three. All right. Let's no, no, do no. it. <laughs> Uh, you've won 10. You win. Yeah. Yep. Nice job, Dylan. Oh, wow. Nice Carlos job. Is, Carlos is happy right now. Yeah, I'm happy. All right, I'm Dylan, and I'm playing Shil Gengar, Sire of Famine. He's a demon, but it's an angel deck, so we're just going to be sacrificing angels for blood tokens, and then sacrificing blood tokens to get angels back from my graveyard and try to get big uh, bomb angel bombs on the board. Hey, everybody. Carlos here, and I am playing six. Not Ren, just six. And uh, six is a 2-4 um, reach creature that does a couple things, but the main goal for me is to sort of play all the graveyard slash land uh, combos that are in green. So this really is like, uh, plays a lot of Yodora, Ashaya, a lot of the different uh, tree folk uh, combos that are in, in lands and uh, takes advantage of retrace as well. Um, so uh, excited to, um, you know, get into nature a little bit. Hi, I'm Jay, and this is uh, Grist, the vicious larva, and Grist, the plague swarm. Um, I uh, call this deck the uh, Swarm of Death. It focuses on land recursion, graveyard recursion, and there are a few infinite loops that uh, where I can generate creatures if I have any token doubler out. So. It'll be uh, interesting. Hi, I'm Jeff L. I'm playing Kudo, King Among Bears. I feel like there's a bunch of different ways I could take this deck though, but what he does is he makes every creature a 2-2 and a bear in addition to its other types. So what I'm trying to do is obviously either make my small creatures bigger, make some of my opponent's big creatures smaller, or just try to pump my creatures a little bit bigger so they're bigger than the other guys. But really what he's trying to do is make sure every creature is doing the bare minimum. I built that deck and called it Bear Necessities. Ooh, I like that. That's like what should be required when playing that deck is only speaking puns. Okay, um, take us away. All Cause right. that might just be a little bit unbearable. It will be unbearable. <laughs> <laughs> Draw, and I'll play a Plains and pass. Draw for turn, uh, Vernon Catacombs, take a damage and get a forest. Um, I'm done. Drop a turn. Play a forest and grist. I'm gonna drop a turn. I will play a windswept teeth. I'm gonna pay one life. I'll shock in the temple garden, tap for a plains and play out an Esper Sentinel. And then I will pass from there, you can go. Draw. I'll just play a swamp. And I'll pass. Draw. All right. We'll play a forest. Jeff for one. You can do land destruction. <laughs> <laughs> um, then I, I will tap for Elvish Mystic, which I just drew. And uh, pass turn. One tap. 
play a swamp, tap, play soul ring. Uh, do I get a draw one? Pay the one. Gotcha. Then <laughs> <laughs> we'll tap for Sorcerer's Broom. Jeff for one. You guys are just yep. brutal. Wow. Elish whoa, Norn. Whoa. Elish Norn. <laughs> the guy over here that's going to be gaining all the life is just over there doing his thing, but it's cool. It is. Gaining life. Well, gaining the fact life. that he gains life makes the one damage worth less. Actually. Life or force all right. I'm going to untap. <laughs> Draw. I'm going to play a Radiant Grove tapped and uh, pass my turn. That's what you get for tap land, tap lands. <laughs> I don't know why it's in the Draw. deck. Actually, I'm mad. <laughs> Bajuka Bog. I'm going to exile yours. God, it's actually still really bad for me. <laughs> don't want you replaying your land. I don't want that fetch land, yeah. Um, really wait, is. get his. All right, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll pass. Um, tip, draw a card. Uh, I'm going to play this Garden of Frailies. Um, unfortunately, losing three life. And I'll tap four. For a Oracle of Moldaya. Let's see if we get lucky. We don't. We get double unlucky because you get to see my card. Mm -hmm. Not only do you get to see my card, you get to see my morph card. <laughs> it's like extra <laughs> knowledge. I'll pass. Untap, upkeep, draw. Tap one with one colorless floating and play Steve. Not paying the one, we'll play Ashnod's oh. Altar. And we will go to combat. Swing three at Jeff. So, Jay, are you just trying to poke the bear is what you're trying to do? Mm hmm You got the draw power. All right, I'm going to untap, upkeep. And hey, I did let you draw a card. Yeah, I know. I appreciate that. <laughs> I will draw for turn two. Right. I was trying not to, and I was like, hmm, I don't see a good way to do this. <clears throat> We're going to thank you for letting me draw a card, because that card right here is Beneful Promenade. No. Once again, thank you all for being my opponents today. <laughs> I really appreciate everything you guys do for me. It. We'll start this off, though, with a little bit of ramping of my own. I'm going to do some three visiting. And I'm actually just going to grab a forest. I will play Wilson, Refined <laughs> Grizzly. Wilson! Um, he cannot be countered, so all you blue players out there in our pod, you know, yeah. none of that. Um, he also has Vigilance, <coughs> Reach, Trample, and Ward 2. Um, but that will encapsulate my turn. You can go. Okay. Untap. Draw. And I'm just going to play... And Archaeomancer's map. When it enters the battlefield, search my library for two basic planes, put them into my hand, then shuffle whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control. If that player plays more lands, or if that player has more lands, then I can put it into the battlefield. Still the best because he's letting me draw again. <laughs> yeah, I gotta do something. Land for turn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I'll just discard Seraph Skyblade. Oof. My turn? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Isn't yeah, that yeah. the top the flyers play type thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is a trickster's elf. Elk. Elk, yeah. It's really good. Yeah. So I'm going to cast Entish Restoration. Sacking a forest. Paying for Esper? Uh, paying for Esper. I get two basic lands, put them in the battlefield tapped. If I had a thing that with power four or greater, I would get three. It's two forests. All right. Dylan, I need a good cut. I got my four-year-old really into Yu-Gi-Oh! And she's been watching the whole That's series. The cut. Come on. Oh, it's weird to watch it. Give it. Oh, oh, you killed me. No. No, just kidding. All right. That's my turn. One attack. Okay, at the end of your turn, I am going to sacrifice Steve and go fetch a basic. <laughs> Fetching a forest. So then we'll proceed to my turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. So Leave one colorless floating, and I will pa I will cast Grapple with the Past. Did you use that one colorless to pay for Asperson, all right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Heroic Intervention, Crucible of Worlds, and Hornet Queen were the milled cards. And I'll return Steve to my hand. Cast yeah, Steve. You're sacking Steve to Ashnods? Or to Ashnods. Playing Necropotence, returning Hornet Queen. Oh. Necromancy. Necromancy. Wow. It's four one one death touch oh, flyers freak. that Jeff turns into two twos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then we'll swing one two grist at you. Okay, take one. <laughs> Necromancy forces the sacrifice. No, nope, not if you cast it on your turn. Nope, it's only if you do it. It's speed. speed. Yep. Uh, yeah, pass the turn. On tap, upkeep, a drow. All right, we'll start off with uh, the Kudo. 
He's because right. he has a Lishnarn. And we're just doing a new game real fast. And then we're going to uh, start off with a That's fine. Rally of the Ranks, and I'm going to choose Bear. Uh, creatures you control, so I control of the chosen type, get plus one, plus one. So my bears are no longer two twos, they're all three threes. Nice. Which they all are. So even Esper Sentinel, by the way, his tax is not one anymore, it is three. So <laughs> try paying him up. <laughs> no, kill it. <laughs> Biggest reason why I wanted to play Kudo was so I could play these types of cards. I will play Drop of Honey. So on my upkeep, uh, destroy the creature with the lowest power. Um, and it cannot be regenerated. If there is a tie, I get to choose which creature it is. And since everything is now two twos, everything now has the lowest power out there amongst your things, and I can now choose which of your creatures I want to destroy on each of my turns. Uh, yeah. One creature per turn. One creature. On my turn. Yeah, Only yeah. my turn. Yeah. Nice. Pass. You're done. <laughs> yep. And on tap, draw. Sounds not good. I'll play Meat Hook for oh. three. <laughs> good call. <laughs> Yeah, take that up, bears. <laughs> oh, I am actually loving this. Do not worry. Really? Why? Interesting. Okay. Why wouldn't I? Everything dies. Uh, first of all, I get to draw a card, by the way. Yeah, everything dies, but everything dies because they're all bears because I made it so. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. I mean, it's bad for me. I lose lands. Um, and then I'll gain one, or each opponent will lose a life when, when, whenever a creature an opponent controls die. Oh, I gain a life. Before it so enters how the battlefield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before, Before that enters the yeah. battlefield. So in response to that. So you don't get anything from him. From what he's doing right now. Yeah. Yeah, from the trigger for the... You're sacking everything, right? Yeah. Everything except for Broom. Broom is the only one that will die. You can sack the Broom. But he doesn't get the ability, right? Well, you need to do it, but you can't do Broom. Does that make sense? You can't use its ability. It resolves. Because that's a sacrifice. Die. This is killing it, not sacrifice. So if you do stuff in response, then it will all be there and die to Musical Massacre. Which will cause him to gain. So your only benefit that you, of, that you have right now is to sack everything so that none of it triggers mm -hmm. Musical Massacre. Ah. Right? That's, yeah. I mean, like, so that I don't gain any life from you. And you don't lose, and he doesn't lose. And you get a bunch of mana if you could use yeah, it. Yeah, he has so. a bunch of clothes. Well, and you don't lose life. Yeah. Wait, no. The only time you guys lose life is if I have something that dies. I'm just saying I'm worse off than everybody, okay? Um, how I many lost creatures half died? of my permanents. Um, uh, three. Three, and then how many are three. you losing? Three, so I'll gain six. Um, and then I also lose Drop of Honey. What? Uh, yeah, I don't think. How Until you're upkeep. No, uh, Drop of Honey must be the card if there are no creatures in play. I don't know, is it? Oh, look at the rat. Let's look at that. There's end of turn, at least. Yeah. That would be great. I think it. I would I love, love that. That would work. That would work nicely. I would love that. Yeah. I then this would be the best card I've ever played. This game. <laughs> I'm so screwed. Land destruction, yeah. creature removal, self-sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it's, even it's, it's a separate game. clause on the errata. It says when there are no creatures on the battlefield, sacrifice drop of honey. Wow. Which is what I thought it was. Because that's how Perfect Notes reads as well. Though. Yeah. Dang. I liked it. I didn't want to get rid of that one. It's okay. I'm not. It is what it is. It's fine. <laughs> Pastor. And reset Carlos. Yep. <laughs> Not even fun, you guys. Not even fun. All dredge. Life from the long. Get two lands back. I want to play a forest. Well, maybe I will need this dried armor next turn. Oh, it's going to die again. But who knows if I ever draw lands again. Yeah, and I'll pass. Untap, upkeep, draw. Play Evolving Wilds. Sack it. And go fetch basic land. Okay. Pay two green, black, play Cadaverous Bloom. Anyway, and then I'll pass the turn. I will untap. I will draw Tristani Discordant. Um, other creatures they control get plus one, plus one, and when it enters the battlefield, I create two one one white soldier creature tokens with a lifelink. And that is all my mana for turn. So. And he was complaining about you gaining life. Untap. I'm gonna draw. Secretly, I was gonna gain all the life. I'll play a command beacon as my land for turn. Just cast the one ring. Oh. Gain protection from everything. Tap it to put a bird encounter on the one ring, then draw a card for each bird encounter on it. I think that'll just be my turn. One, two. Dredge three. One, two, three. One's land, a lotus cobra, and a tireless provisioner. Hey. I'll play six. Here we go. Oh. And then play forest. It's land for turn. And I'll cast Life from the Loam again. Pass turn. I think Jay's the saddest one from your 
Meat Hut Massacre. <laughs> yeah. Oh, saddest. <laughs> yeah. You had the best to lose, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I, I lost half my permanents. Yeah. And half. That's true. So you're saying it was a really good play. It was a great play. <laughs> it was a mean play. <laughs> it was a mean, mean Mean hook. good play. A mean hook play. People we will tap for three, play Evolving Wilds from the graveyard, sack it and go fetch. I think that's a six land. Cast Grist. We'll pass turn. All right. I will untap. I will draw. I'm going to play a Talisman of Unity. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to do it. Do it. We're playing Kudo. Oh, gosh. So these are more four fours or five fives? Uh, the, these are four fours. Uh, I thought that was a waste of the one ring, but it wasn't a waste. You're, it's not a waste. You're getting protected right now. He is protected. Oh. I forgot. I was thinking that they were just coming at me. No, yeah. no, no, I, they're not. Unfortunately, I have. There's a chance that I can. <laughs> there's avoid a chance. Some damage. So you're telling me there's a chance. All right, I'm gonna t- take Tristani to Carlos for three, and then I'll take my two four four human life linkers to you. Take eight. Take three. All right. Um, that will be my turn. I pass there, and you can go. All right. Untap. Upkeep, I lose one life. And draw. I'll play an isolated chapel for my land for turn. And then I will tap, adding on that burden counter. Get him out. Shield Gengar, Sire of Famine. And he has a, he's a sack outlet to get me blood tokens. Or I can sacrifice, what is it, six blood tokens and pay three to return each creature card from my graveyard to the battlefield with a finality counter on it. Mm. And they are vampires in addition. Eight, so I need to discard. I will discard a swamp. An angel vampire bear sounds like a pretty dangerous creature. It does. Pass. <laughs> Untap, draw a card. Oh, sorry, I keep doing this. Dredge three. Dredge three. No lands. Cultivator Colossus, Survival of the Fittest, and Ambush Commander. Dylan, I'm gonna attack you for two. Just Me for so two. I can get my uh, effects. Yep, that's fine. I'll right. take two. Mill three. And I get a fabled passage into my hand, milling Emerald Di- Medallion and Circle of Dreams Druid. Finally got sort of a d- fetch land again. Fabled passage. It's white, right? Conduit of Worlds. Cast Life from the Loam. And that's it. On tap. Upkeep draw. We'll cast Evolving Wilds from the Graveyard. And then sack it and go fetch a basic. Oh, duh. That's why I was thinking I could cast something. My commander lets me cast things. I don't need to worry about this. With retrace. That's like what my commander does. Oh, yeah. And I still don't have the most life. <laughs> Barely. 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 Six for Mike. Oh. Mycosynth Lattice. Okay. So everything's an artifact? Everything's an artifact. Interesting. Players may spend mana as though it were mana of any color. Uh, uh, my turn? Right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. No one has stuff, really. You got big things. Oh, gosh. Maja. Wait, is that sorry. another lord? Maya. <laughs> is it not Maja? So my humans are, yeah, five fives. Uh, so is my bear. You know who has an elder demon? That that guy. That guy. That guy <laughs> you res- you need he commands respect. And if you disrespect him four, five, five, five. So nineteen. At me? At you. Jeez. At me. At you. This feels like the Bristly Bell game. Miss Swords your bear? Mmm. Yeah, I guess I will lose my Tristani. I'll take, you gain five, I take six. Oh, I'm going to get 11. <laughs> oh, yeah. You lose four, I think, right? I gain, those are three threes, right? Yeah, he's yeah. going to lose six. Um, whenever an, a creature, an, a, uh, an opponent controls dies, I gain a life. Yep, so, so you'll, I gain one more? One life, yeah. And that's it. You can go. Untap. Is Dylan the scary? Yes! He might be. <laughs> I don't know. He might be. He is. He's only now. I used no. <laughs> no, no, he wasn't. I had to use my removal He's on trying. a 2 2 bear. He's going to lose two life right now, by the way. Oh, yeah, I lose two life. But he. he <laughs> with your bear out, you're the scariest. Not with the, not the bear so out. So all you have to do is pay your bear and oh, play oh, your bear, oh, and you're back to the scariest. He is drawing four cards this turn. Yeah. What? Well, you've yeah, already drew, you'd already drew that much extra earlier no, than this. No, I think it's just four total. He's drawn an extra like seven. 
now. Yeah. Yes, because he's probably four cards this turn. Yeah, because no. I'll get three now. Yeah. Do not do not oh, try no, to so be six. <laughs> you just it barely just tipped. It was you until just barely. This is the seesaw. It's still Jeff. No, it's you. It's you, Dylan. <laughs> Wait, all he has to do is play his bear back out. Play one more. Right, right, he's right back now, it's spot. you. Let's be clear. Uh, it was in Dylan's favor the moment he played the one ring. <laughs> uh, it was going to be in his favor. Now, oh. with that sword. Because to be clear, if you find a way to remove, say, like, the one ring, which I probably do, I can't. Because <laughs> it's indestructible. Well, then you don't have a way to remove it. Yeah, I mean. I have to in exile it. I'll play my land for turn. It's Drana and Limbala. Uh, so it's flying vigilant, and then activated abilities of creatures your opponents control can't be activated. And then she has all activated abilities of all creatures your opponents control. Uh, you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to activate those abilities. Okay, and then I'll just cast Tarian's Journal. There you go. There's the card. Sack another artifact or creature, draw a card, activate only as a sorcery. Everything's an artifact. You could sack a oh, land right everything's now. Everything's an artifact. I will... Pass. One tap. Draw. Dredge again. I gotta be consistent. So, oh, I do have a freak sealing altar. I just dredged it. No. <laughs> and two lands. I'm gonna play Tireless Provisioner. I'm gonna play Retrace Lotus Cobra. Then I'm gonna play Land for my graveyard for Land for Turn. And that'll get me a treasure and a mana. Okay, now I crack my Fabled Passage. It would have worked without the Fabled. I could have done it without the Fabled. Because now I can use... Oh no, it's not gonna work. Dang it. Did you cast a spell? Or... Because this says if you've already yeah. cast a spell. Dang it. Oh well. Let's try. I was about to try. I was gonna try and get Oracle out. I have the mana for it, but I can't use the conduit for it. And I don't have any more mana in my, in my hand. Or lands in your hand? Uh, oh. Unfortunate. Oh, oh, wait. You can cast Life in the Loam. Pull him back. You're right. So maybe I can. I think you can do this. I would suck two treasures. That puts them in. You're right. You get these into my hand. So just those two? Nope, there's two more. Now I can Oracle. retrace Oracle. Yeah. I... I and think you I, can play Oracle, and then you can play an additional land. Yeah. You can pull Fable, and then you if can, you pitch yeah. Fable, then you can play it back out of the graveyard into your, and do the fetch again, get a second, a third treasure, and a... I mean Fable. I pitched Fable. Yeah, so retrace that. I cast Life from the Loma, got the lands You back. can replay the cast Fable more Oracle. from the graveyard. And now I can play another land for turn. Yep. Um, play Fable, fetch again. I get one more mana and a treasure. Yep. And then a second treasure. No. Because you can sacrifice Fable again. Well, I can get two more mana, but... Yeah. I don't know. And you if he doesn't need it, he doesn't go for it right now. You have Just another wait. land. But time. all that mattered is I got one little die out, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and now we do this. Abundance. <laughs> it's a great way to put lands in your hand. I just want land on top. Hey, just be clear. It's a really good way to put lands in your hand. You're right. I don't need to worry about lands on top anymore. But I like Oracle Modaya because lands on top is drawing cards, right? And you're getting lands into play. Like, it's just the very best creature of all time, basically. I can mill to get rid of this abundance, actually, if I can attack somebody. Um, one, two, and a two, three. No, but two, three. A two, three. You can attack me and we yeah, can we just, could just, just bump just off bump. each other. Although this does block a flyer, but then I'm not really going to block those big things. I will attack you, Jeff, or two. We will bump. Okay, I'm going to mill three and get a deserted temple into my hand. Sylvan Safekeeper, Abundance in the Graveyard. And what's on top? Oh, oh finally, hey. but I can't play it because I played <laughs> all my lands for the turn. <laughs> okay, so we can go get this land on top, basically. Um, and that will give me... One, two, three, four, five total mana for the turn. And then I could play none of these, because they're not. If you have anything to play, you're probably just better off waiting right now. Yeah. I think I just play 
Do I only have one right now? Unless you unless you fetch with three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. And then you'll have two. Well, take you have one because you, you attacked her. Oh. You see what your face is already, too. Fudge. I don't think it's going to matter. I don't think you're going to play anything. I think you're fun. Well, I was going to play this morph that you knew I had. Now I can't. Well, I can. I have to just path do this to do it. So that's my own fault. So crack this. Get this. Get one and two. So then I'll use these two and this one for the... Mm -hmm. Self-in-library is back again. Okay. <laughs> um, for the morph. Mm -hmm. And I have two treasures. And you know that I have this mm -hmm. Nantuka Vigilante... When he yeah. comes up, I naturalize something. Yep. Anything. Anything. <laughs> How much morph is two or three? Uh, three? It's cost two to unmorph it. No, but morphing is morph is three. So I had, I had. Oh no, I would have to have one, one treasure. One, done that. One. You have one treasure. Well, then I can't even morph it. No. So yeah, I, I should have done that before I tax. Yep. Because that would have given you one more mana to play. Yeah. So we just won't do it now. So you're just going to let the one mana expire? I guess... You could cast something out of your graveyard for three or four. Oh, you're right. Because you have a land in hand, a one, pitch, right? One mana floating. Should have done this way earlier. Uh, Emerald Medallion. <laughs> Jeez. That's the land. Yeah. Mm, that's it. A lot of spinning Spin. lands. <laughs> Carl's, Carl's is in a good spot, is all I'm going to say. Well, yeah, I think... I did a lot of, any, like, any cool landfall, stuff. If you had any landfall... Yeah. Um, he does. He have a little landfall, but, yeah, he's got a... I don't... I mean, if you have, like, stuff that's going to, like, make a bunch of beasts... It's not a or, landfall deck, though. This is mainly what you're doing it for, is to cast other mm -hmm. things, so... Okay, we'll play Evolving Wilds, and then sack Evolving Wilds, go fetch a forest for... Well, I don't know why... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm. Wait, how come Two, four, you have six, eight, eight, land, you have eight lands? You yeah, this this just came in tapped because of Evolving Wilds. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, when you cast this spell, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal X creature cards. Put all creature cards into your graveyard, then put the rest on the bottom of your library in the random order. So, Living Death, Insect. How many creatures? Nine. Okay, one, two. Oh no, seven. Okay. Give me seven. Three. Oh, a dredger. Four. Five. Tainted strike. Six. Six. Oh, there you go. Dang, I should be playing that guy. One at Jeff. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yep. My turn? Yep. Okay, untap. Where they Up save a dragon egg and take Draw. it back to its mother. All right, we're going to just press the pedal to the metal That's and see what right. happens. Whoa, whoa. Ooh. Kudo again. Kudo's back. Whoa. Wait a second. <laughs> oh, counterspell. No, 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 no. Not, not a counterspell. White counterspell. <laughs> Three for eight. But I could get four, to four blood tokens. Oh, well, you can do that uh, oh, because it's big. That's all right. It's fine. We're, we're going to run it back. <laughs> Dang. You're gonna run it back? Running it back. So four, 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 four. And no, this is three, three. Uh, Dylan. Yeah. Eleven coming in at you. Eleven. What's the biggest thing? The human. It's four, the four. Human, four, 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 four. Life links. Okay. I will block one, four, four. One of them with the two. two oh, you two. only have two twos. What? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll sack I it. was forgetting yeah, before about that. So he's just gonna or not? Yeah, I'll block it. He'll chunk it. He'll yeah. chunk though. So then he and it doesn't get the life link trigger either. Yeah. So. And then I'll take four, and then whatever that is. Three. Three. So it takes seven. Seven. I'll gain four. Go down Twenty-nine. To and yeah. you'll get two blood tokens by the way too. Oh, I just an angel. angel. It's an angel stone. Angel. angel. I forgot that it was actually still an angel. That is my turn. That is my turn. Trying turn, yeah. trying to, to lower Dylan. That was kind of mean. But so. you're going to have a turn and you're going to do something really mean, so it's okay. <laughs> On tap. Lose three. Oh, whenever creature dies. Yeah, yeah awesome. everyone loses awesome. one life. Hey, we all lose a life, by the way. Okay. See your graveyard? I'll just have. You're looking for creatures? I have Cultivator Colossus. It's equal to the number of lands you control. So mm -hmm. he'll come mm -hmm. in after. 
and oh, okay. be a big guy and get your lands. Well, that's the best I thing I have. I think I still but like... The, the Hornet Queen is probably Hornet. the best thing. Hornet Queen. It's gonna hurt. Reanimate. Seven, and I take seven. Okay, and then it enters with four, one, one. Hornets. Hornets. I can play Swamp. I'm gonna use a blood token. I'm gonna sack it. I discard a card, Angel Archangel of Thune. Okay. And then and draw a card. Pay two. Cast Giada. And then I'm gonna cast Dylan's the threat. He was always the threat. <laughs> I don't know mm -hmm. why you can cast Only him. when <laughs> Hex Parasite. If you would have been not missing land drops. And he didn't sword your guy, he would have won. Victimize? Uh, maybe. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna choose Archangel of Thune and Sephara Skyblade. And I'm gonna sack you come in Hex Parasite. So you lose a life? Yeah. Yeah, you guys will all lose one life. And then Good. they do they see each other enter with this? Yeah, ability? they will. So they enter with two. With two one one counters. They see two. Is it for each themselves. angel you control or for each other angel you control? Other. Each other angel you can yeah, yeah. Each other angel comes in with. Oh each yeah, for other. each other. Yeah, yeah. For no, it's just, no, so you get additional plus one percent on it for each angel you already control. Uh huh. So, so he controls one. three. But it's already not including itself. So actually, I don't think they see each other. I think they see what they, they, they see. see they only see Giada. They only get the okay. one because you don't already control each the other ones. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. That's really weird. It's, uh, I've never seen something say already control. Mm -hmm. The only other thing I could do is sack. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could sack an artifact or a creature. I could. Everything's an artifact. Sack the blood token. <coughs> you, you can the technically. Map, the map. Just get rid of the map. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's just do that. The do nothing map. <laughs> do nothing map. You already have the most lands. I, 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 Carlos could try to keep up with you right now, but I don't think that's going to happen. Right. I'll pass. Everything's an artifact, that's by the way. So pass, you, could yeah. you could sacrifice a hornet or anything. Yeah. Well, the, the map was not help doing anything. No, these are too valuable. <laughs> no, he has, he has indestructible Fine, death touch death flyers. Touch yeah. Gosh, it's so good. Yeah. Mostly I have I a missed wall. Should have cast a... Uh, um, what do you call it? The end of turn. Dredge? Yeah. You... Oh, no, it is there. <laughs> what is my problem? <laughs> Dredge. <laughs> Life from the loan. That's why, oh, no, I wanted it. In your hand? In my hand, because I was afraid someone was going to get rid of my graveyard. Oh, oh. you could yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I feel Let's like. Get... How do I? <laughs> I have one, but that's. <laughs> I can sacrifice the I think we pay five mana for a Rampaging Bayloths. I will play a Fabled Passage. It's land for turn. Can I borrow another dice? Beast. And my one land in my mana pool and my third treasure. Yeah, then I fetch to get rid of this Harrow. Scoots walk. I do ask this one. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, what other landfall do I have? Let's just let's just get it out of there. That might. Be, oh, I have Renissa, which is just basically a better Lotus Cobra. I do have a Souza. All right. I do have Green Sleeves. That one was cool. Did you ever? Green I didn't even seen this one. Green it's sleeves? basically just another rampaging Balos. Mm. When a lantern enters the battlefield in your control, you get a three-three Green Badger. Mm. I mean, it adds us some other stuff, but mm -hmm. really, it's just another. Um, so those, I have two, three more landfall creatures. Um, did I get a land? I don't think I got a land. I'll draw that. Now we see if there's anything in my graveyard that we care about. Let's play an emergent zone as land for turn. No, because if, oh, you, play, yeah, if you play, if you play Fable Passage yeah, 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 again, yeah. Yep. and well, fetch no. another, then Fable it Passage did this to for, two and four, yeah. and then if you cast and a, and another, and a second beast. Frixian Altar, Ooh. discarding this forest, and that takes the three. Oh, that's why I don't play Emergent Zone. Yeah, sorry. I have to play the Fabled Passage because it triggers Landfall one more time. Okay, now I... Life from the Loam for one. That's why I was doing that. 
get three lands. I'm gonna Arch Druid's Charm, which this also says exile target artifact or jam it. So I'm like, I've been saving it. Mm. Is it instant? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Well, everything's an artifact. I know. That's why I'm that's saying that's so good. I didn't say it, Jay. So that's one because ring. it lets me kill One it. ring. One ring. Oh, one I could get rid of the one, one ring. ring. Wow, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I really want Guy's Cradle, but. It's probably nice. Do you to only as much as, as, much as like, you get one? Dylan be able to draw that, five cards, six cards a turn. One is mode, probably yeah, the worst mode. thing. All right. I like um, it. <laughs> but you could. How many times could you retrace it? I can retrace the spell. Wow. My freaking instant. Gosh, did you? Hey, Carlos, did you know that you have retrace? Yeah. Oh, cool. I have retrace ability. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. Yeah. Sorry, I shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. That changes <laughs> the whole world now. Because uh, especially you go fetch Gaia's Cradle, that creates how much mana? Well, I'm going to... Then you can retrace life from the loam, return three lands to your hand, keep doing it. I'm going oh, to cast Enter Shed Extra Restoration okay. um, for two mana. Sacking and discarding land. I'm going to sack um, this Garden of Fraley's. So I sack that land, which is actually a Disciple of Fraley's. Discard a land to retrace. Casting into Restoration for two mana because uh, of Ember Medallion. Getting three basics into play tapped because I have a creature with four or... Oh, do I right now? No. no two twos. Druid's Charm first on the bear. That gives you your no, four No, just four. give you the Druid's Charm to get the land. The guy's Cradle. Oh, but I, I, um, I do need to decide, am I at any point going to kill your Kudo? I don't think I do right now. There's not a reason. Because it keeps all the angels small. Also, well, the only thing bad about retracing your charm right now is it ends up in your graveyard, right? Yeah, it has so to you do won't it have right it, now. You won't have it, for instance. If I exile Kudo, I'm just sort of out of it. But what are you going to do on your turn? Are you going to kill all my stuff? I don't know what I'm going to do on my turn. <laughs> do, you have, do you have Elishnorn? Are you going to Elishnorn? <laughs> he has Elishnorn! He has Elishnorn! <laughs> oh my gosh, he has Elishnorn! Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh my goodness. Oh. He doesn't have Elishnorn. But he, does. he doesn't worry. have seven mana. Don't worry about him. Oh, he has six mana. Plays land, Elishnorn. I lose my whole board! <laughs> In response, you can kill him out though. But if you kill it in now, response, I could kill Kudo, which which would make it a null point, because then you still have two twos, and then I still lose my most important things. Actually, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have to. I'm gonna, in response to my spell, exile your Kudo. Uh, okay, so now I get three lands. What Jada win? Just because he's probably just told Carlos how to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> he just did two things. Um, but they're mainly if you reminded me that I had to retrace, which I already should have known. So those three come into play tapped. I'll get three mana. I will get three more tre Tonight. treasures. I'll get three more babies. Nice. I will retrace Archdruid's charm. For for Go get <laughs> nope. Gaia's Cradle. I will cast or discard a Emergent Zone to cast a five mana Disciple of Fraley's. And this, I will lose a creature here for your thing. Um, when it enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice another creature. If you do, you gain life equal to that creature and draw cards where it X is that creature's power. I think it's just a beast, unfortunately. I gain one life. I gain four life. I will draw four cards. The first one will be uh, uh, Dredging Three for a life from the loam. And then I draw three more, but you gotta see them because of Oracle. A Haro, a Forest, and a Corsair of Krufix. Actually, can I cast everything now? No, it's not everything, but I can do a bunch. So I'll Life from the Loam for one. So you're, are you using the Gaia? Yeah, I think it's time to... So you add how many One, set, so eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen mana. One of it's <clears throat> for the Life from the Loam for three lands. 
Now I can cast a Trickster's Elk, huh? All right, I'm going to cast the Morph Creature. I'm going to cast Eudora. I can turn it face up for two to shoot your angel. To shoot this? Or four. <clears throat> so then I sack it. Uh-huh. And it's nine, so I get so I have a total of ten bloods. So I sack my Nantuka Vigilante to Frixian Altar. Everyone loses a life, right? Or I just gain a life. You gain a life. Oh, that's not, oh, that's not and you're but uh, everyone lost a life from this, right? No. Yeah. But now yes. we do. Okay. All right. <laughs> so now, because I have that the flare, there's a doing? chance there's, you could make everything indestructible. There's a chance that flare could save me, but oh, it's in your it's, it's in, in your deck. deck. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, well, I'll attempt to one at process. a time, but the process will be each time me coming back as getting a land. land a landfall trigger and destroying. Um, an artifact and getting two mana. Wait, is the two mana from so landfall? Be, the two. Be mana. So let's. So treasure. one each time I do this, it's a land into play. One lotus cobra. One tireless provisioner. One rampaging Bayloth, One tap for green. And, and you'll have the existing green from sacking. One Phyrexian altar. Green. No, he won't have the he won't have the green from sacking because the sack and the tap will net it goes neutral for him. So the mana he's producing is just from the treasures and the just trying to well, but keep track in case we have any interactions. So this so this all happens. I have one mana from Phyrexian altar in my pool. Yep. I've now tapped for a green, and this is before sack. Yeah. So so I end up every uh, tapped. With this per transaction, yep. which me sacking ends up me in the same spot, except these three go up one each time, yep. and we destroy one destroy. And whenever you sacrifice the creature, though, the creature will die, which will trigger his stuff. By the way, which I'll get that first, right? Yeah, you'd I'd go for that first. Though. Yeah, so I'll target. So my so the first step is this has been tapped. I'm now paying two. I'm gonna just leave this at four. No, technically it's at five. No, technically it's at six. I'm at six mana, and now yeah. So we leave it at four um, for now, after each transaction because it covered itself. So I flip that up, target on the stack, meat hook massacre. Yep. So it's destroyed. Yep. Okay. Then we'll go through that same process first, getting rid of then your commander. Yep. Yeah, I have no responses for um, anything. Did you, you try to? Did you? Oh, you already did the blood I'll thing. I'll get right? rid of your bloom next. Yeah. You could you could sack everything. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get rid of things that maybe would get in the way, and then you guys can respond. Then your altar. Oh, I don't. Just be clear. I'm. Yeah. I'm. F, no, we're, responses. Yeah, no, no responses. You have any responses? I think. I think, Carlos. I think you're you're okay. good to clear everything. All right. All right. <laughs> and then all your things die. La I'll leave your Mike like, Sith lattice on board. Um, <laughs> Although the and, one ring uh, is there, and the one ring is there, I will end uh, exiling that uh, with uh, Archdruid's charm. Um, or, I'm sorry. And um, you have a no. I'll uh, I'll attack you for whatever damage. And then, then, let, and then let, <laughs> let the one ring kill, kill me. Yeah. Uh, that goes to you. Okay. Yeah. Well, you can't attack yet, though. I have a little bit of damage, but yeah, yeah I have though. like. Three, you could four, run. Five, you, you could six, six seven, eight, nine. I have nine damage. Is there anything that we can draw? Yeah, there's stuff we can draw from our no lands. I'm pretty sure it's a concede from everyone at this point because we can't do anything. Yeah. It's, if you want, uh, you don't it's have to. I'm not it's a concede out. for me. Oh. Just. Okay. <laughs> Dang it. I, there's no way. There's. Was it there? Well, my combo. Player. Oh, my combo. Did you have a wrath? No, no, no. I didn't in your have hand. No. Oh no. But did I, you have a storm? Yeah. I, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. So yeah, I was. That's uh, why I went for it, actually. Even I was though I was shy. Yeah. And the thing is, like, I couldn't draw anything. I, you took out my draw engine. When I lost my draw engine, I was like, oh man, this is gonna. That me cut masker was the best I'd ever seen. It was amazing. That was, and it was so early, that, and it was so powerful. Like, I thought I was out of the game for sure. Mm. I lost every all like mm -hmm. half my permanents and everything, and. Uh, 
I think that Life from the Loam, though, so if I don't have Life from the Loam... Jay, why are you playing that, that Mycosynthotis exactly? I'm just confused by that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's actually the MVP. This deck needs Mycosynthotis, man. Just, just to be clear, that, that is what uh, when Carlos against. That's true. Yes. I didn't even think about that. Like, the landscape was a deep, dark forest, and so the tree folk came together to help each other and overwhelm the rest of the creepy crawlers. Great game, everybody. As always, a big thank you to our amazing patrons. We'd love for you to join us over at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. We got a lot going on over there and I'd love for you to join. One of my hopes is to continue to build our community and it's only $2 a month. You get access to our private discord, uh, which has monthly game nights and a bunch more. Hope to see you over there. A special shout out to John McManus. He is a player, a former editor and long-term patron. Thanks so much for everything you've done and really been with Kingdom since the very beginning. Thanks everybody for watching and remember, keep it nerdy. We are giving away the last life counter from Pointer Ear with the Kingdom's colors and the logo. You can also buy these right now by checking out the link in the description. All you need to do to win this one though is to be a subscriber, like the video, and make sure to comment on this video. A winner will be chosen the following Friday and make sure to check your notifications as I will respond to your message here to notify you if you won. Thanks, everyone.